So good morning everyone. I'm Engineer Manager Nandane, your course professor in engineering drawing. And today I will discuss to you the overview and its application. So let's start. So once again, this is the introduction to engineering drawing for BS Mechanical Engineering. This is the module one, the orientation and overview of engineering drawing and its application. And today, you will be learn, you will be able to learn the definition and terms of engineering drawing, application of engineering drawing, and the drawing equipment and the use. Before that, I will share to you the motivational goal. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary, and they will walk and not be faint. That's from Isaiah 40, verse 30 to 31. So let's have fun. Let's have some fun. Four picks and one word game. So while taking up this module, you need to answer this game correctly. And every page, I will give you a letter as a clue. At the end of the module, you will receive the final instruction. As you can see, meron tayong lalaki dyan nakaupo at nag-aayos sa riles. At meron po tayo dyan na... Ah, ano kaya ito? Ano, ta, ano kaya ito? So, meron dito naka-cup, okay? Naka-PPE. At merong mga plano. Meron dito nag-iisip. At merong calculator. Meron dito lalaki na nag-ooperate sa isang uh, audio room. Okay. So, sa tingin nyo, ano kaya ang word na to? Okay? Ano kaya ang word na to? So, Hopefully, makulaan nyo. So, every page, every, uh, every page, meron akong ibibigay sa inyo. Okay, so let us start our discussion. Definition and terms of engineering drawing. So, before tayo mag-proceed sa engineering drawing, alamin muna natin kung ano yung drawing. Drawing is the graf graphical representation of any object or idea can be termed as drawing. A drawing can be prepared either using freehand or using engineering instruments or using computer program. So, sa drawing, may classification tayo. Freehand, gamit lamang iyong kamay, kung ano yung gusto mong ibuhit sa pamagitan ng iyong kamay. Or, using engineering drawing, syempre gumagamit tayo ng kamay. Plus, gumagamit din tayo ng mga instruments. Okay? So, mas malalaman niyo yung mga instruments na gagamitin sa mga susunod na topic. And yung computer program, ito naman yung AutoCAD. So, meron tayong software na gagamitin for the drawing. So, meron akong isi-share sa inyo types of drawing, dalawa yon artistic drawing and the engineering drawing. So, the artistic drawing, the drawing representing any object or idea which is sketched in freehand using imagination of artists and in which proper scaling and dimensioning is not maintained is called an artistic drawing. So, example, painting, posters, art. So, maybe some of you magaling sa artistic drawing. Pero, ano ang pagkakaiba niya dito sa engineering drawing na itong course natin, itong subject natin? Okay, engineering drawing can be defined as graphical language used by engineers and other technical personnel associated with engineering profession which fully and clearly defines the requirements for engineered items. And engineering drawing provides all information about size, shape, surface type, materials, etc. of the object. So, example, building drawing for civil engineers, machine drawing for mechanical engineers, circuit diagrams for electrical and electronic engineers, 
computer graphics for one and all, etc. So, lahat ng mga nakikita nyo sa paligid, especially yung mga man-made, okay? yung building, yung mga uh, machine, lahat po yan dumaan po sa engineering drawing. At yan po yung gagawin natin, the engineering drawing. Okay? So, ito yung patakaiba niya sa artistic drawing. Sa artistic drawing, kahit anong maisip ninyo na drawing ay artistic yan. But, in this engineering drawing, kailangan may susundin po tayo ditong size, say, shape, surface type, materials, and other object. Okay? At mas malalaman niya sa mga susunod nating lecture. So, the purpose of engineering drawing, ito lang yung tatlong purpose niya. Una, communication. Engineering drawing is the main method of communication between all people concerned with the design and manufacture components, building and construction, and engineering projects. Then, discussion. Drawings are very useful for developing ideas and theories and discussing them with colleagues. For instance, a manufacturer might discuss the problems of manufacturing process with an engineer. Okay, ulitin ko lang. Yung una, yung communication natin. Ito kasi yung way ng mga engineers para ipakita doon sa mga technical person kung ano yung gusto nilang design. Okay? That's why uh, ginagawa natin sila uh, sa, in, sa drawing muna, okay? Kasi kahit wala yung engineer at makita lang yung plano, malalaman na ng mga technical people kung ano yung gusto mo ipahilatik. And that is communication, the, one of the purpose of engineering drawing. Another is discussion. Yun nga, developing ideas, theories, and discussing them with colleagues. So, pinapakita mo, pinipresent mo sa mga ka-co-engineers mo, ito yung gusto mong design for that, uh, for that building. Example, for that building or for that um, uh, machine. Okay? As mechanical engineers, syempre yung mga machines. Ano yung mga sample machines? Okay. We have the air, uh, air conditioning, the HVAC. Kailangan natin ng design. Kailangan natin ng drawing gun. At Meron tayong yung mga tangke, power plant. Okay? So, uh, marami, maraming options for the machines. At lahat ng yun kailangan dumaan sa design for drawing. Okay? Another and last purpose of engineering drawing is for the records. Drawings are kept for extra orders of components regarding previous specifications and records of current specification in case of faulty manufacture or design. So, ang source po natin yan ay sa engineering drawing by Norazlina by Abdul Nisper. Okay? Pwede nyo siyang search sa uh, website. Okay. What are the types of engineering drawing? So, engineering drawing can be grouped into four major categories. First is the geometrical drawing. Under niya dyan ay ang plain geometrical drawing and the solid geometrical drawing. Second is the mechanical engineering drawing. Third, the civil engineering drawing. And last, the electrical and electronics engineering drawing. Oops, meron tayong nakitang clue. The first clue is letter R. Okay. Here's the types of engineering drawing. Yung una nga is the geometric drawing. This is the art of representing objects such as rectangles, squares, cubes, cones. Cylinders, spheres, etc. on a paper. If the object has only two dimensions, such as the length and the breadth, uh, it is called plain geometrical drawings. Example, rectangle, squares, triangles. If it has three dimensions, length, breadth, and thickness or depth, it is called solid geometrical drawing. Cube prism, sphere. Uh, that's the example. 
The next type of engineering drawing is the mechanical engineering drawing. Ito yung palagi natin gagamito. Okay, this is the art of representing mechanical engineering object, objects such as machine parts, etc. and etc. on a paper. It is used by mechanical engineers to express mechanical engineering works and objects for actual execution. So, ito yung uh, pagtutuunan natin ng pansin, the mechanical engineering building. At mas malalaman nyo yan sa mga susunod, susunod nating modules. Okay? And the uh, third type of engineering drawing is the art of representing civil engineering objects such as buildings, roads, and as building. Roads, bridges, dams, etc. on the paper. It is used by civil engineers to express civil engineering works and projects for actual execution. And lastly, the electrical engineering drawing or the electronics engineering drawing. This is the art of representing electrical engineering objects such as motors, generators, transformers, wiring diagrams, etc. and paper. It is used by electronic engineers to express electronic engineering works and projects for actual execution. So, ito ay ang mga types of engineering drawing. So, ano naman yung elements of engineering drawing? So, meron lang tayong dalawang elements of engineering drawing. First is the graphics language. And ito naman ay ang word language. Under the graphics language, ito na yung line types, projection method, geometric construction. And for the word language, meron tayong lettering and numbering. So, iisa-isahin natin ito sa mga next modules. So, ano naman yung drawing standards natin? An engineering drawing should be well specified and universally acceptable. That's why there are some specified rules for engineering drawing. These rules may vary slightly for different regions. There are some drawing standards or drawing codes that accumulates the rules of engineering drawing for a certain region. Well-known drawing codes and their application region is expressed below. So, sa kant, ito yung country or region, then the code or standard and the full meaning of it. So, so worldwide, ito din yung ginagamit natin, yung ISO, the International Organization for Standardizations. Sa USA, ginagamit nila ang ANSI which is the American National Standards Institute, Japan, JIS, the Japanese Industrial Standards, UK, BS, British Standards. So tayo, ang gagamitin natin is the International Organization for Standardization or the ISO. Okay, for the second clue, letter E. 